What's going on? Hey, what do you know? We got more things to talk about here in this episode today. Always interesting and exciting stuff happening inside the Brawl Stars community. That's for dang sure. And I know you know YouTuber things. Of course, if you guys enjoy the episode, find it helpful in any way, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're kind of rounding that corner to 700,000, which is freaking mind boggling. It's wild that we're almost 300,000 subs away from a million. It's just, it's hard to comprehend. So thank you guys so much for all the continued support. Wouldn't be here without you. But I want to start things off here in this episode today a little bit on the lighter and fun side of things. Guys, we have some very exciting news just coming out today, yesterday, when you guys are watching this video. But one of the coolest skins that honestly I've been looking forward to for quite some time since the announcement of this update, we have the new Jean skin. A wise warrior never pulls an enemy with no ammo. Very true, dude. Never do that with Jean. Dark Samurai Jean is now available. Skin concept design by Ray. I hope I said that right, but some dope, dope artwork. It's giving me that like possible Easter egg sneak peek vibe. You know what I'm saying? I don't think there's much to go off of here. I don't think that's the purpose or anything like that, but you know, your boy Ray is always thinking about Easter eggs and sneak peeks. And really the only thing that kind of I thought might make sense is the Bonnie and Stu family, given the like roller coasters and the fun like crash pad arrows. I don't know what you would call them. It's just giving me that vibe, but again, nothing crazy. This is nothing. But yeah, man, I'm not gonna lie. I think I like the Nightmare Sandy skin a little bit better than Jean. I think it's just super sick, but this skin super, super close to just as good. I would say such a dope skin. So of course you already know your boys picking this thing up. I mean, come on, dude. It's so good. <laughs> the Supercell make skins have been popping off recently. A little bit of foreshadowing for later on in this episode today, I suppose. But moving along to our next bit of news. And once again, we are talking about Draco. We actually just talked about him in our most recent video here on the channel with some important balance changes that were just given to him before his release. I think, guys, he's going to be insane. We thought he was going to be broken with his normal staff before they changed him, but they made him even stronger. So, little worried, but I don't know. <laughs> I guess like Broken Brothers can be fun at sometimes. But the reason we are chit-chatting about Draco here in this episode today is specifically to give you guys his release date. You guys know whenever a new brawler comes out, I try to make sure we're all on the right schedule, especially for a brawler like this. A legendary brawler takes a little bit more time to prep. If you want him the first day, getting your credits in order and stuff like that, it's kind of important for these higher rarity brothers. So I want to give you guys some time and I want to make sure we're all on the right page for his release. Now, normally when we talk about a brawler's release date, we have to kind of go into like investigation mode, detective mode. It's not that crazy difficult to do or anything like that with these new brawler releases, but this time around, it's incredibly easy because Danny literally gave us the release date for this character. Not super hard to find out, but I highly doubt that all of you guys watching this video are constantly reading the replies of Danny or the other community managers like myself, you know, <laughs> kind of the craziness with that. You know, I'm looking through Danny's replies I thought he had mentioned it on Twitter I might be confusing it for some other conversation somewhere else who the heck knows but I have confirmation from Danny that Draco is going to be released here on May 30th I don't know why I got confused about <laughs> like a Twitter reply or something like that but I promise you May 30th now of course his release being on May 30th means that's when his early release access is going to be so technically he's going to be released here in less than a week at the point that I'm recording this video this next week Thursday, he's going to be touching down in game. However, as it always goes, the normal release for Draco is going to be seven days after that when the Brawl Pass ends. So just so we're all on the same page, Draco's early release, May 30th here, less than a week away, right? Next week, Thursday. But then a week after that, his actual release to everyone else outside of the early release will be on June 6th, the specific day that this Brawl Pass is going to be ending the Godzilla one, which we then will be transferring into, I'm not sure the actual name of it, but it's that like digital virus theme skin sets that we saw in the Brawl Talk. I wonder what that name is going to be for the season. I'm really looking forward to it. The skins are dope as heck. I think it's going to be a fun season. But yeah, it's not like we have a ton of time at the point that I'm recording this video before Draco is released, but I'm guessing the majority of us are going to be waiting for his regular release. So I think two weeks for you guys to be able to save up as many credits as possible or come up 
up with a game plan for your resources to power them up and stuff like that. I think that's a good long enough time. So two weeks from now, baby, let's go. But with Draco's release date out of the way, we're moving along to some more very, very exciting news that came out one day ago at the point that I'm recording this video, a brand new Supercell make skin dude. Kind of a surprise. It's for Bell, believe it or not, with some really, really cool artwork there to advertise the make campaign. But much like the most recent campaigns here, there's no specific theme that the Brawl Stars dev team is going with. So they want the people, the artists, to be as creative as possible when creating these Bell skins. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit disappointed whenever that happens. I feel like sometimes whenever there's a specific theme that the dev team is shooting for, a lot of the time it's got to kind of translate to an upcoming season and what the theme might be, right? But I suppose, you know, just recently with the Jean and the Sandy skin, it really doesn't match a certain theme or anything like that. So maybe they're trying to get away from that type of practice with these Super Sound Make campaigns. But either way, very much so looking forward to seeing what the community cooks up for a Bell skin. You guys know, like I said before, dude, the Brawl Stars community, the artists out there creating these skins have been freaking popping off recently. Always looking forward to seeing what people end up up coming up with with these campaigns so yeah man i think this one is going to be a really really fun one for sure really like the artwork as well like i said before <laughs> it's so dope dude ominous very ominous but moving along here as we had recently just mentioned here on the channel there is a free pin on the way with this monthly finals and when you guys are watching this i think it should be going like right when you're watching it or very very close it's going to be going so hopefully it's not catching you off guard hope you guys caught it in the recent video that we did if you really really want the pin but in that episode the track wasn't updated with the actual free rewards and i was getting a little bit nervous that it wasn't going to actually work out but as you can see here today as i'm recording this video we have an updated version with the 3000 point milestone we get that awesome egg champy 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 pin <laughs> champy it's champy <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, such a dope pin. It's kind of a shame that I don't have many points on any of my accounts. I don't think it's going to be really, really easy to get all the way to 3000, but this milestone will be here continuously. So even if you start now, you might be able to get enough points during like the next monthly finals or the monthly finals after that to finally get to this point if you really, really want this pin. But yeah, man, hope you guys have fun with it. I think I'm going to try to do my best to get at least some points here and get closer to it because I really, really do want that pin. I'm a sucker for the champy pins. <laughs> I like collecting them. But the final thing, I had wanted to mention here in this episode and wanted to mention for quite some time now and just couldn't find a way to fit it into one of these episodes is again some very bizarre stuff happening on the leaderboard here recently we had talked about it a little bit in our most recent cursed account searching video I don't really have a name for the series or anything like that but we go around looking for some of the most cursed accounts out there inside of the Brawl Stars community but in that episode we had mentioned that there's very very bizarre accounts and brawler pushes going going on here at the minute and it hasn't stopped at all dude what we're talking about is specifically power level one grinds to absurd trophy ranges now i'm not quite sure what's going on here and i could just be dumb and i missed a season reset or something like that like yesterday but i was just watching a video inside the brawl stars community showcasing some of these accounts and how absurd they've been getting so i don't know if that was recorded yesterday or anything like that but i ended up seeing in lapsa's video that an individual managed to get his mortis to 3,000 trophies at a power level one. However, now that I'm looking at it, there are no power level one crazy pushes going on right now. They're all gone. Again, I could just be dumb and it's because of a reset that I missed or something like that. But if you go to any of those previous brawlers that we had mentioned in that one episode, none of them are there anymore. So <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. We have this one, one trick spike. Is this it? Yeah, I guess spike is still here. But there was definitely a mortis one that was absolutely popping off like crazy. So I have no idea where some of these accounts have gone. Possibly they've gotten into a little bit of trouble or something like that. Who the heck knows, dude? I thought I would give a little bit of a wrap up or conclusion to those accounts that something definitely happened and I have no idea what happened. <laughs> super, super strange, man. Just what a weird situation in general. Power level one grinds. Ridiculous. But yeah, dude, that's just about all I got for you guys here in this episode today. Once again, thank you guys for stopping by, hanging out and chilling with your boy, having a good time. Hopefully you had a good time. But yeah, of course, we'll be talking super, super soon. Adios, everyone. Take care. Have a good one.